We are set, ready to rock for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup. And these guys on your screen, ready to rock as well. Some of the stars of today's game. And speaking of the game, let's get right to it. Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And off we go from Lambeau. This will be fielded at the six. They take him down at the 26. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Taylor and he'll get it up to the 33 yard line the reception good for seven it's third down I think defensively you're okay with that you're in the first quarter he's gonna get some catches but they rallied to him quickly and that's what you count on and I like what you just said first quarter can you do it all game long if they catch it you tackle them, they go down on the spot because when you're able to do that you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch now you put the offense in a position where Every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. On third down, Taylor looking for Gronkowski, and he's got him complete. And all the way down inside the 25 before he gets out of bounds. A big third down play there for the Niners. 43 yards. Here we go. Try at 98. Try at 98. Throwing now. Taylor on first down. Looking left side. That's caught by Macklin. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Here we go. One, nine. One, nine. Throwing again, it's Taylor. Flushed out right. Oh, he's got some breathing room. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. You know, I don't think this is the last time we'll see that in this game. This guy has mobility, and they want to use his legs in the game plan. So there will be designed runs as well as his scrambles. Here we go. One, nine. One, nine. Taylor now on third down. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. And here comes play number six on this drive. On first and ten, it's Taylor. This will be caught at about the five. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. Okay, I'm not so great at math, but I just looked over at our statistician, Marvin, and he signaled to me five for five to get <laughs> things started here on this opening drive. Where I come from, that's pretty good. A 
fresh set of downs, and they're at the run. First and goal. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. That almost felt like the defense said, he is not getting in. What a play. Not only stopping him at the line, but pushing him back a yard as well. Now Taylor to throw on second down. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. He was looking for the Hall of Famer, Kellen Winslow. And it's third and short. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force them into going for three and not giving up six. Now it's Taylor. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, it's been a tough go for them. These guys have been driving down the field, but defensively, once they got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure, that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. And Hopkins' kick is good. And the 49ers take a 3-0 lead. And that field goal caps an 11-play drive. That's a lot of offense to run to only get three points, but they'll take them. Anytime you can put anything on the board, you run to your sideline somewhat happy. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Drive in the air, and his first look is incomplete. Sponge, sponge, sponge. Go, go, go. Hot, 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 hot. Double tight, double tight. Bring it out, bring One forty, one forty. Now they'll run it on the toss. And some room to maneuver. Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. Pass the 20. 10. Touchdown, Packers. A big play there. 72 yards. And the Packers are able to strike quickly for six. Well called, well blocked, and then he just made a great play. That was an athlete going a long way. Yeah, how about the suddenness to it? Just getting there and taking off and going for the defensive guys. Plays like that really hurt. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. On the return, this is Micah Hyde. <laughs> Good return. He's across the 35-yard line, right around the 36. The 49ers offense making its way back out there. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Has it left side. A gain of 32 that time. If the post pattern is often equated as a changeup route, how about when you throw it to your big guy down the center of the field? Covered or not, you have great confidence he's going to come down with the football. And when he does, as we just saw, long gains often result. Taylor on first down. He has Brent over the middle. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We're back to Lambeau following these words. A 
On first down, it's Taylor. Escaping the pressure right. And too much on that one. It's out of the back of the end zone, incomplete. He was looking to get it to Kenny Britt that time. That'll bring up second down. To throw is Taylor. Throwing again. And his throw here is incomplete. They were trying to get it to Macklin that time. Third down here. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Again, it's Taylor. Nowhere to get away, and down he goes. Taylor is sacked. Dietrich Wise Jr. in there to get him for a loss of nine. And that'll lead to fourth down. And he didn't get it there. No, it's no good. Just shy of the crossbar. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. Now they'll run it on the toss. And not much doing. He'll get this only up to about the 36. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let them outside where they can really shred your defense. the shotgun. He'll look to throw. Throws a quick hitter on the slant. That's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Gain of 21 yards. As far as tight ends go, this guy's not a speed burner. He's much more of an inline blocking type of a tight end. But how about this last play? Made a nice catch and picked up a first down. That's what impresses me about him. When he's called upon, usually gets it done. Inside the 25 now at the 24. A good pick up there on first as the screen pass gets him eight. Now before this second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Watch left, watch left. 
Now they'll run it on the toss. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. He lost two there, and it's third down. We all have habits that can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What up? And he's going to go down here, a sack. They push him back to the 34. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. They'll break the huddle here and go for it. This is fourth down. Defense really showing respect to the deep ball here, playing off the receivers. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. Mike McCarthy took the gamble, didn't pay off. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. Let's go! Final play of the half, it's Taylor. Dancing to his left. Now he's going to let it go deep back over the middle. And that is incomplete. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This is taken at his four. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. And now the Packers get set to go. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> Show them one thing, hit them with something else. Now a handoff, running off, tackle right. Space to maneuver at the 40. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. The 20. 10. Touchdown, Packers. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Packers add six to their lead. And that run massively increased his production in this game, and now he's over 100 yards. And break out your calculator, partner, because his yards per carry went up it's significantly, right? Big-time jaunt all the way to the end zone. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be taken very short. And I don't know what was going on there, but the end result, this is going to be a safety. Mm. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm not totally privy to what went on with their offensive meetings, but Charles, something tells me that one wasn't in the plan. Yeah, when we had our production meeting, they didn't exactly share that with us, but I'm pretty sure that on the play sheet, the run backwards into your own end zone play was not written down. 
Any return that gets you to midfield is a great return. One first down, and you're almost in field goal position. The Packers offense now heading back out onto the field. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it? Big time jaunt. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game, the play action pass could very well be open. They go play action here on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was trying to hit Darren McFadden out of the backfield. And that'll bring up second down. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. Back to throw now on second and 10. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Offense trying to avoid stalling out, facing a third and ten. Now they'll run it on the toss. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Two yards on the pickup there. It's fourth down. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears try to go for it on fourth. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw, and it is incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out, and the Niners take over in terrific field position. The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. And the last time they had the football, they surrendered two points on the safety. And they don't want to do that one again. No, not at all. It's almost like a bases clearing double, isn't it? Give up a couple of runs. Sure. <laughs> just, mess, just messes things up for you offensively. But now they've got to go ahead, take it, set it aside, and move forward. He was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that time. And that'll bring up second down. Offense still needing 10 yards. Second down. Now Taylor going to throw again. They set up the screen to Hill. And he's brought down. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. Let's go. Now a play fake here on first down, and that's incomplete. When we talk with people about what we think the most important quality for an NFL quarterback to possess, what do people usually say? Arm strength, and he showed the arm strength there. Yeah, pretty good bullet pass he threw, but he wasn't accurate, was he? No. Listen, you like mobility, but accuracy, first and foremost, is what a quarterback needs. He didn't possess it on that play. Eluding the pressure right. Quick slant, that's caught by the veteran Macklin. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 15 yards through the air and a first down.
the counter. It's Hill. And some space here. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. Here's Taylor to throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Well, that was point-counterpoint, wasn't it? They decided to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. So the defense has put them in a tough spot. It's second and long. Now it's Taylor. Flush to his right. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. He'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. And this offense on third down today, they've hit two for four thus far. This is third and goal. Taylor and that is incomplete let's give this defense some credit now they let the guys get downfield but when push came to shove they stood their ground and now they'll likely force a field goal attempt I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances here's a big one in this third quarter as he'll go for it on fourth down They'll try and throw for it with Taylor. And they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And the Packers' D comes up with a big stop. The Packers' offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. And last time they were very fortunate, this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold it. He trusted his defense. He trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own sideline. Well, we'll see what his offense can do. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. Well, the stats that matter on this play don't help a team very much unless of course you're playing defense if you're getting points per reception you got a reception but yeah no yardage great job by the defense though they they read through that one they read through it gave up no yardage and people got credit for tackles pretty good deal and to give this time to the tailback and for one of the few times here today this run's not going to go anywhere call it no gain on the run there and now they'll be looking at a third down the fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. An extra DB for the 49ers now on third. And the play clock's running down. He'll look to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. And I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. NFL teams last year, a little under 50% on fourth down conversions. This is a bit tougher. Fourth and four. Now they'll run it on the toss. He's got a first down and more past the 30. <laughs> The Red Sea parts, and there he goes. Touchdown, Packers. A 
great play there. 82 yards. And the Packers add on to their lead. And he keeps carrying the ball into the end zone. And in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now. No question about it. And you talk about on his back. He's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Yeah, those, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. And they'll get set here looking for the two-point conversion. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the eight. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. The 49ers offense now, they work their way back onto the field. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. It caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I get Taylor hit. He lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. So here we go, first and 10 now. Hey, hey, tight ends right. Watch tight ends. Time for a break. We'll come back and wrap up garbage time after this. They'll throw on first down with Taylor. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. Second and 10 now, it's Taylor. Over the middle, that's taken in by Gronkowski. And they're able to get this one down to the 25. Give him 30 yards there. Here we go. Throwing now, Taylor on first down. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. Second down here after the incomplete pass. Throw again. Flushed out right. And he's taken down. Trying to do a little too much. Getting outside of the pocket. And it results in a sack. Andre Branch in there to get him for a loss of five. Third and long. Taylor and company hoping to regroup after the sack. From the gun, it's Taylor. And this is going to be incomplete. And 
And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. And out of bounds right around the 20. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Packers are going to win this football game. of revenge there he's had his way in this one but this time they get him behind the line it'll be a loss of one and that'll bring up a second and 11. the option going left on second down and a short pick up there as he'll take this up to right around the 20 only a yard there on the keeper and that's going to leave him with a third down typically on the read option play when we talk about responsibilities we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through how about the inside linebacker though his job on this play shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain did it to perfection and Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. This has been Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Join the discussion on Twitter at EA Sports. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos, follow me on social media, and once again, thanks for watching.